pointless. <laughs> Two drunken Englishmen are accidentally sucked into an ever-changing vortex of past and future ages. Doug Hatton and Tony Kirby, without a change of clothes in several months, now tumble helplessly towards an exciting new adventure along the infinite corridors of time. Now we should slip him the poison. Yes, and Russia will at last be free of the evil influence of Grigory Rasputin. My dear child. Possibly just before Rasputin's enemies tried to poison him. Oh, my God. You mean... Exactly. What? <laughs> <coughs> it's Alan Bleasdale. <laughs> Should I eat? It's a book. Five letters. <laughs> Who are these fools? I don't know. They must be Rasputin's mates. I didn't invite them. Oh, God. Rasputin's bad enough. Imagine what his mates are like. Hey, hey. Steady on, mate. Hey. Someone should get him a taxi home. Who are you? Are you German agents? He's very drunk. We're going to have to get him home. Yeah. I don't know how he manages to write all them plays if he's this drunk. A taxi, please, to, uh... uh who are you, mate? Prince Yusupov. Uh, Prince Yusupov's place. All right, cheers. Get the noise down, mate. Why are you so complaining? The bullets do not affect him. He's used to criticism. <laughs> Taxi. Oh, no. they all nice lie down. They're helping Rasputin escape. They're breaking the golden rule, interfering with the course of history. <laughs> Next week, another drunk and disorderly episode of Drunk in 